Typically, when we look at textbooks, orbitals are shown one at a time. So we see pictures of, say, S orbital by itself, and we see, say, a picture of one P orbital, say the PX or the PY or the BZ. So we see three separate pictures. For the D orbitals, we see five pictures, but it's very seldom that one see them all together. To be quite honest, this is the first time I've seen all those orbitals put together on one model. So when you see these individual pictures in a textbook, you have to have this type of picture in your mind. All the orbitals are together at once when we are dealing with an atom. So now this specific orbital has got up to your 3D, so which means that's like a transition metal. So if you look at your periodic table and if you count the rows from the top, if you count until row number four, that's your fourth period. So we have a 4S and we have 3D orbitals. So it's that row of elements that will have orbitals like this. So always keep in mind when you see the individual pictures in a textbook, they are not orbitals that occur one at a time on a around a nucleus, they are all together at once when we are dealing with a atom.